Hello again, friends. Uh, as promised, I have for you an honorary professor deck profile. Now, as with the last one, I'm not good at honorary professor. Um, granted, I did do some more testing uh, compared to last time, but again, it's not really my thing. So take it with a grain of salt. So um, starting off, we have a uh, gifted bear. So he's a forerunner. And you can rest him and uh, reveal an honorary professor in your hand. If you do, search your deck for a different honorary professor and then drop uh, drop a card. And then if you did that, retire Gifted Bear at the end. So this means that he's like a, he's like a, the stride fodder where you can search for a specific thing, but with anything. And he kills himself, which means that you can do your life insurance stuff if you want. Um, yeah, it, it, it's a good starter for toolboxing. Uh, for grade threes, we have three copies of Honorary Professor uh, Chevrolet. So when you ride him, you can uh, discard cards equal in grade three. So you can discard a three or a two and a one or whatever, or grade three or more, sorry, or a two and two, what have you. And then you search for two cards with Honorary Professor, put them in your hand, and then shuffle. So that means that, like, all right, I ride one, I discard another copy, and I get... Uh, you know, Chat Savage and Chat Noir. Hooray! Like, that thing's really good. On top of that, when you stride, um, an honorary professor, you search your deck for up to one grade three card, put it in the heart, and then you put her into your hand. So, uh, probably what's gonna happen is you go into, um, you know, basically me or Chat Noir, that's the big one, and, uh, Put this back in your hand, which you can use for discard fodder or stride fodder or whatever. So, it's a good card. Three copies of Honorary Professor Chetnor. This is the break ride. Um, so, you know, when you break ride over him, Vanguard gets 10k and then red text. When a rear guard attacks, uh, you can pick a rear guard itself or something else. Give it 4k and at the end of the turn, draw and retire. Um, so, this is combined with uh, three copies of... Chat Sauvage, who, when you uh, ride over um, Chat Noir, you can immediately discard a grade 3 uh, with Honorary Professor and stride either uh, Cathpalude or Brahminata, which means that you can, uh, because both things happen at the same time, you can then uh, put Chat Noir's break ride effect onto your stride, which is really cool and very powerful, although kind of like Supernova ish, where it's a really big effect and then you know kind of go like it slows down a lot later but it's very powerful so um yeah so three copies of each and they're all freaking searchable so that's cool um four copies of crayon tiger because you watch the big belly video you know what it does i'm not gonna just use it and bushra please reprint him um four copies of this is my favorite thing ever trickle british it looks like a cat Winston Churchill. So uh, once per turn, when he's chosen for the effect of your Vanguard with Honorary Professor, so like when it gets doped by your Vanguard, uh, until the end of the turn he gets 4k, and then when he's retired from rear guard during the end phase, you choose an Honorary Professor from your drop zone and put it in your hand. So you can, you know, recycle your grade threes for stride fodder and get cards in your hand, and he's just very good, and he's not GB locked, so yeah, very good card. Um, two copies of Go Home Toad. So he's a uh, GB1. If you have an honorary professor, you can soul blast and give him the ability to attack from the back row. So I really like this because um, you can, uh, you know, often you just kind of dope your whole field at once with honorary professor, so you can get more attacks out of it, like putting it behind Vanguard. Um, very solid card. Oh, if you do that, he dies at the end phase, but again, it's honorary professor, your field's gonna die anyway. Uh, one copy of Bootcamp Simric. So when he's placed on uh, rear guard, if you have an honorary professor, you can give him 4k and at the end of the turn kill him. And then also uh, drop zone. When your honorary professor is placed on Vanguard by riding over a different grade 3, you can return this to your hand. So this is nice because it's like a recycling grade 2 that you can keep calling over and over. And you're going to keep riding grade 3s over and over on top of other grade 3s, so that's nice. Um, yeah, so nice text slot. You can run a third toad if you want, but I'm giving that a try. Um... Four copies of uh, Shellmaster. So you burn through a lot of counter blasts really fast with one specific stride. So being able to have counter charge is nice. Um, three.
three copies of the Stride Fodder. Um, despite having nine grade threes and being able to search them, uh, typically you, you're going to want to be like break writing and stuff, so having Stride Fodder is good. Um, three copies of Reader Page. So when placed on rear, if you have an honorary professor vanguard, um, it can attack from back row. So this is really fun with Brahmanata, who on attack calls things from hand, gives them 4k. So you can go, all right, attack, and I have two of these in hand, so I'm going to call them back here, and uh, attack for 11 from back row. So yeah, pretty nice. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, two Duckbill, one Mike Saburo. So still have early game retire in the form of uh, Gifted Bear which means that uh, these are fairly useful, though I valued Reader Pigs uh, over Mike Saburo and Duckbill, so um, yeah, I ended up doing those instead of running these guys. So yeah, also nine grade threes, I think I, I don't need to search that many. Um, whoops. Four copies of Automatism Koala because again, we counter blast a lot, so having a heal that counter charges for you when you view guard is very, very nice. Uh, also, it's a heal with an effect where others weren't. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Four copies of Approval Frigate, and then six other crits of your choice. Um, you don't really need Pond Belly because there's no. The only Big Belly you have is the Big Belly Stride, and you don't go into it that, that often, so it's not worth it. Um, the Vanilla Crits are useful in that you can. Uh, give them dopes and their 9Ks, which means they can get rare guards, which is nice. Um, so yeah, 10 crit and then 2 draw. Um, you know, stands are kind of clunky because usually things die after attacking or, you know, your vanguard usually attacks first anyway. So yeah, the, I, I had 12 crit for a while, but having 2 draw is nice for security's sake. Um, you don't want the game to go very long because you will deck out faster than Big Belly, so... Uh, you're trying to be, like, as aggressive as possible, and yeah, 12 crit does help with that more, but 2 draw has helped me in, in a pinch in the early game and also helping to dig for stuff. So, that's that. Um, let's see. The G-Zone. One copy of Cath Palud. So, uh, when a rear guard uh, attacks a vanguard, if you have an honorary professor heart, you will. Uh, you can counterblast. If you do choose one of your rear guards, it gets 4 can at the end of the turn, draw an entire. So it's basically Chat Noir's skill, but um, attached to a counterblast. So you're probably going to be like, all right, I'm going to first try to do this and counterblast 4, give 16k somewhere, and then draw 4 cards at the end. So yeah, pretty good first stride. Um, it's one of the things you can get with Chat Savage. So you might be able to do like, because of Chat Noir's skill, you get, you get that same you know, 4k draw and retire at the end, so it's 8k on every attack, which is good when you have those back row attackers. So, um, that, two copies of Brahmana. So, on attack, you counterblast, flip a copy of him. Uh, if you, uh, <coughs> sorry. When he attacks, if you have a heart card with Honorary Professor, you may pay the cost if you do. Choose up to the same number of cards in your hand as the number of cards in G-Zone, call them separate R, until the end of the turn that they get when it attacks, gets 4k, and at the end of the turn, draw and retire. So, um, you're probably just gonna, you, you're probably gonna end up using it as a first stride, um, in which case, you know, call a reader paid in the back row and have it attack for 11. Yay. Um, and, uh, yeah, pretty much, like, later in the game, it's pretty fun if you have, like, a bunch of cards in your hand where you go, alright, attack with this field, attack with Brahmanata, you know, I have, like, you know, flip, now I got four cards in G-Zone, call a new field. And then one of those is a pig, attack from back row, attack and with Trickle British, attack with Crayon Titer, restand, Trickle British, attack again. Like, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty solid stride. Um, let's see. One copy of Super <coughs> Honor Professor Muir Chat Noir. So, GB2, uh, counterblast one, drop three cards at the end of the battle that he attacked. If you have an honorary Professor Heart, uh, you put him in G-Zone, choose up to one grade three honorary professor from hand, ride at his stand. If you road, choose all of your rear guards, they get 4k, and at the end of the turn, retire them. So this is going to nuke your board at the end of the turn. But the important thing is that if you do, if you ride Chat Savage on top of Chat Noir, you can then immediately stride again, which means you can do six drive checks during that turn, suck on that Dragonic Overlord of the Purge. Um, so... Because this costs so many resources to do, and it will blow up your field, you only really need one. You don't have to flip a copy of him. 
next stage. I'm looking squarely at you. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's uh, really funny and kind of a uh, good like pull out of your ass finisher. Um, but yeah, you only really need one because it, it'll leave you destitute afterward. Um, two copies of Ballot Earl. So uh, if you watch the Big Billy video, it's basically the same reason. It's a decent first stride. So, um, you know, you soul blast, flip a copy, choose all your units in the front row that get on it, uh, on hit draw card and, uh, 4k for each face up card in G zone at the end of the turn, retire those units. So if you have two trickle British in the front, when you do the skill, because you're going to have an honorary professor heart, uh, trickle British will count. So that's going to be 8k, which means they're in for 17 and on hit draws. And, uh, yeah, pretty solid first stride and pretty solid late game stride. So... Good for him. Two copies of Afonk. So, same reason. This is for Overlord, pretty much. Or if you need to preserve your units for some reason or another. Um, oh, I should say this still because people... Um, or pause and read it. But uh, you counterblast, flip a card face up in G-Zone. Uh, pick any number of rear guards. They get red tax champion retired during that turn. And for everyone you picked, he gets uh, 4k. So, yeah. Um... Two copies of Mana Garm. So, still a very solid card. Um, maybe, it's not as good as the whole Talented Rhino thing, but it's still a very solid, uh, you know, two of. Um, usually, this is the thing I end up getting rid of with G-Assist, but um, it's still very good. And being able to, you know, if you've got a Crayon Tiger and, you know, Trickle British is hitting for, he'll be at 17. Then when Crayon Tiger stands up, he's uh, 21. So, hooray, numbers. Um... So you two copies of Sage St. Big Belly. So again, mid-game stride where you counterblast, flip a copy, pick a rear guard, it gets 4k for everything in G-Zone, which uh, you kind of burn through your G-Zone pretty quick in this deck. So this does come in handy later too. And then pick a unit and it gets on hit. You stand uh, X number of other rear guards equal to the number of cards in G-Zone. So again, it, you know, you got a thing on this side, crayon on this side, it hits, restand everybody. You know, it's really good if you have, like, pigs and uh, toads in the back row, too, because then they can restand and attack from back row again. So, fun. Um, let's see. So, this is the four G-Guards. So, one copy of Kundalini, who, uh, when you G-Guard with him, you pick something, and at the end of the turn, it gets retired and you countercharge. So, countercharging is fairly important in this deck because of Catholic. So, uh, oh, if you do that, it gets 5k shield. So, this is good for... Pretty much any situation. Usually it's going to be like, you know, Duck Bill sitting back there. Or a, um, yeah, probably not a lot, but it's useful. Um, one Spangled. So again, this is for when you're behind. You counterblast, flip a G guard. Um, you pick all of your other guardians, and they, when they get retired from guard circle, you draw a card. So this is for, oh, I have six cards in hand and another attack's coming. You know, I put down four of them. Then they die, and I draw four cards to replace them. So, good stuff. Um, one copy of uh, Ardillo. So, when you G-guard, you uh, choose any number of rear guards, retire them. Then, if the number of open rear guards is uh, three or more, it gets 10k shield to the battle. Um, so, you know, this you're going to have a clear board like 99.9% .9 of the time. So, easy, easiest thing in the universe. Um, you can also, if you want, cut Kundalini for a second one. But... It's up to you. I, I like having the option for counter charging. And then lastly, one copy of Al Mirage. So uh, it it's like a dismal. And then on top of that, when you uh, G-Guard with him, you can Soul Blast. Choose up to two cards from your hand, call them, then pick uh, up to four, and they get resist. And if they're hit, they're not retired. So this is mainly for Gr the Gridora matchup where you can, you know, oh, you can't call over here? That's on my turn. This is during your turn. I call these two. Haha. -ha. Like, yeah. So... It's pretty good. Um, re other recommendations, I you, you know you, you can do you can add um, another mirror chat noir if you really really want, but I don't uh, think there's really the resources to do it. You can also cut a Bala Earl or Afon uh, for a fifth G guard if you choose. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's a very explosive deck that wants to kill on first or second stride, especially if you G guard in mirror chat noir. And it has the ability to do that, but it's just a lot more um, volatile, I guess I'll say. So, uh, 
Yeah, it, when, when you see a game on the channel, I'm probably going to end up misplaying, and for that, I'm sorry. I'm just, like, I'm more comfortable with Big Belly. But nobody else on the channel plays Great Nature, so you're stuck with me. So, uh, yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time.